Hello. Me and Tal Saga. Yo, me too. Me and Tal Saga sounds like a game that would have gotten announced at today's uh, Sony uh, State of Play. What is this game? Great question. Let me get the box. Oh, good. It's replaying. That's perfect. Alright. You kid, but success kind of went crazy in the mid-2000s. Here's the box, by the way. Very cool. Dog with gun. Yeah. I know not like I know about this game, but like I have the frame of reference of uh, 2000, 2005 X X play. Tomatoes with knives, dog with a fucking yeah. Hot sword guy, hot cow, hot cowgirl, main character posed up, dog in a microwave. I. So it is the tank JRPG, but it's not like Metal Max, which is the tank JRPG. It probably is Metal Max. They just named it stupidly because they didn't want to call it Metal Max. For reasons. Alright, let's see. Let's see what some bangers that success made. Uh, they did the cotton shoot 'em up games or the cute 'em up games. RPG Maker. Casual Honda Superbike Racing, cool. Tom and Jerry and House Trap. Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro for the PlayStation 1. They did the Metal Gear Solid 2 Windows port? They did this. They did Izuna, Legend of the Unemployed Ninja, Operation Darkness, banger game, Rondo, Swords, Drone Tactics, Raiden Fighter Aces, they did the Dark Spire which is one of the most expensive uh, DS games so it's a banger too. Um, yeah, and now they're doing, uh... apparently there's another Metal Saga that's announced for the Switch. Cool. Oh, that is a. Uh, Let me chat. So make the. Let me clear the chat. Sorry. Uh, make the text a smidge smaller. I'm trying to actually use my screen real estate for once. I know, crazy. Um. Yeah, they've had their hands in a lot of cookie jars. Yeah, as you can see, I started late because I decided to do things with my stream that I was not prepared to do. But I'm good at what I do. At least that works, right? Oh, don't, oh no. Oh dear. Oh god, the pants are huge. You can almost see what the... I don't know what I'm grabbing right now. You can almost see what the, the pants say. Spooky. Alright. 
Enough, enough tech work. New game. Let's go. I don't know if one is faster or slower. I'm gonna assume it's one. Smart park? I love smart park. Screen position. Now let's get this shit off uh Perfect. I I understand why they have that, but I don't understand why they have that. Um cool feature though. Vibration on. Loads. There we go. I think one was very slow. You want to become a hunter? Why is he thinking about this all of a sudden? Well, I think it's a bad idea. It's a terrible, needless job. It's not all jobs, though, really, when you think about it. It's dangerous. You don't have a steady income. I'm not a professional streamer, lady. Most people don't have a very high opinion of hunters. Damn, she's actually just talking about streamers. What the fuck? If I had my way, your father wouldn't be a hunter, either. Dot, 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 dot. That's just how I feel, Pants. Now, there's still plenty of time for you to train as a mechanic in order to inherit the family business. I think you'd be really good at it, and not just because you're my son. So, will you try out Bailiff. something Whack. more stable <laughs> than being a hunter? I'll be a mechanic, sure. It looks like my little boy is all grown up. Now, you are my son, after all, so it only makes sense that you become the best mechanic around. I've always believed in you. It's, I, so I set it to one because it just gave me a scale from one to four. And I thought one would be faster, but it turns out four is the fastest. He's really settled down, you know? You mean pants? Yeah, you'd think he was born to be a mechanic. To be a... You know, Dad, pants is working really hard. I know. Nina's a good teacher. I'm sure he'll be the best mechanic around. But he is my son, too. I always thought he'd make a good hunter. Dot 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 dot. What? Are you actually jealous? Huh? Well, how can I say this? Dot 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 question mark? I guess I'm jealous. Maybe a little. When he was a kid, he always ran around saying, I wanna be a hunter, like daddy when I grow up. I guess I just got my hopes up. Dot 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 dot. 
It's his life, though he can make his own decisions. Being a hunter is far from easy, dot, dot, dot. As a parent, it's nice not to be worried about him dying. <laughs> I guess. And so, Pants inherited the family business, spending his life as a mechanic. He would never fight a giant flying manta ray. <laughs> Nor would he find a pet dog with heavy artillery on its back. No, he wouldn't have even encounter a cult of bodybuilders obsessed with ab toning and proper waxing techniques. Truly, Pants lived one of the most boring lives ever imagined. <laughs> sure, he eventually gets married and has a few kids who go on to lead equally dull and boring lives. And, of course, he dies quietly in bed. But every man dies. Not every man truly awakens an attractive female. Robotic weapon <laughs> designed long ago by scientists that time forgot. Pants didn't anyway. That's for sure. For the record, uh, Wendell, when, before you came in, uh, it gave me a choice. It was like, do you want to be a hunter or do you want to be a mechanic? So I was like, I'll be a mechanic, sure. And I just played that whole cutscene. No, like, not even like a, are you sure? Just fucking straight up eat shit. <laughs> Alright, um, anyway, yeah, thanks everyone for stopping by. Uh, good stream, 20 minutes long. Yeah, PS2, uh, games were kind of tight for that. The only other game I know of that does it off the top of my head is, uh... Suikoden 4 lets you shoot yourself in the foot like that. Is that game for your stream? Maybe a new speedrunner? Yeah. The the worst speedrunner, holy, bro, I, that was so slow. I could beat that time easily. It, I guarantee you'd be a world record too. Far Cry Four or Five did that too, but no one needs to just make it less funny. Yeah, I don't know. I I appreciate it equally every time. Go for a new PB. I might. I might. I'm kind of trying to get the fully narrated world record for Metal Saga bad ending. Um, as everyone knows, getting a world record is very important. Everyone will think I'm cool and touch my wiener. Um, that's really what I'm aiming for with my streaming career. So, all right, have fun doing whatever you gotta do. Bye. Bro. Alright. Cool. Just only get world records in games no one plays. I may get world records in games that people play, but I'm going to... Damn. Um, I'm gonna get them in games that people play, but I'm gonna make such obtuse categories that no one gives a shit. So I can be like, yeah. I'm actually a Final Fantasy uh, IX world record holder in uh, in the uh, Kina and Vivi only category. 
All right, this time with gusto. I'm not actually doing that again. It's, I like the bit, but I already have a world record, so I don't really need to make it any better. I welcome the competition, though. Gotta get make your own game, get the world record, and never publish it for other people. Yeah, or just buy prohibitively expensive games. And then get them. You want to become a hunter? Why is he thinking about this all of a sudden? Well, I think it's a bad idea. It's a terrible, needless job. It's dangerous, you don't have a steady income. Most people don't have a very high opinion of streamers. If I had it my way, your father wouldn't be a streamer either. That's just how I feel, pants. Now, there's still plenty of time for you to train as a mechanic in order to inherit the family business. I think you'd be, a really good, you'd be really good at it, not just because you're my son. So, will you try out something more stable than being a streamer? I'm going to be a streamer. <sighs> I should have known. Just do whatever you want. Gee, I wonder who he gets his stubbornness from. If you're serious, then you need to find yourself a mechanic or a vehicle. <laughs> the only thing hunters with that, without vehicles find is trouble. Do you know where the hunter office is? No. That's the first place you should go. It's across from us diagonally. Which diagonal? At least buy some equipment. Okay, honey? Mommy worries about you. Damn, when mommy worries about you, flushed emoji. Based. The store is next door and has that convenient sign. You can't miss it. Yes, I can. And be sure to speak with Nikolai if you go to New Folk. He's a great mechanic, and he could probably teach you a few things. I know that pan streams. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm just really bad at it. Um, thanks for the resub, and congratulations on rolling Twinkle Park big. Sorry that it was uh, not in the right place again, because I'm good at what I do. I can fix this. There. Now it should stop being a problem. Very cool. Very good. Thanks for the reef sub, Pop. Congratulations on rolling Twinkle Park big as well. I should really, one of these days, go and get the other ones. The other action stages that he has. Now, Hobbs just wanted to let me test that I actually fixed my stream layout. So, that's still your moment, Neb. I don't care about his sub. I already got his money. How you doing, Neb? Hopefully, you're on summer vacation now, right? New Folk is pretty far to the northeast from here. Are you really going to be a hunter? Squee! It's like you always said. Still your money and your time? Yeah, get shit on. Imagine spending your time in my stream. Weirdo with a pug shirt on. Can't even tell because my fucking beard's in the way. Check out this shirt, it's tight as fuck. It's called Fashion Sweaty, look it up. broke my fucking pop filter. This is so sad. Oh, I'm so jealous. You're gonna have such a good time. I'll be rooting for you, Pants. Good luck. You chose the life you wanted, so you have to stick with it. Understand? But if you do get tired of being a hunter, you know you can always come back. This is your home, after all. Is it? Then why are you kicking me out? Hey, Eddie, glad I caught you before you left. 
You're usually already gone when I stop by, huh? Wait, are you? Did you shrink? Only a little. No kidding, that's a problem. Maybe it's something you ate. Nah, I'm just playing. Full grown men don't just shrink. Ha 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 ha. Man, sorry about that. I totally thought you were your dad. My name is McKinley. I guess you could call me an adventurer. I travel around the world alone, but I try to stop by whenever I'm in the area. But as I expected, he's not around today. I trust that Eddie's doing okay, though. I remember when you were just a baby. Heh, <laughs> you sure have grown. I guess you're a hunter now, just like your old man, huh? That's when you left your house. You're definitely a hunter now. We'll probably meet again sometime. Good luck in the meantime, okay, kid? No. I don't want good luck. Quick button check, don't mind me. Oh, Pants, you're a hunter now? Still, you're not a real hunter until you have a sweet ride. I mean, you can try rolling into hostile territory without a vehicle, but don't whine to me when you're dead. You know about Junk Mountain, right? Out back behind town? I bet there's a vehicle still somewhere in there. Worth checking out anyway, I sure as hell don't need it. I'm fine without a vehicle, thank you very much. If you're still alive later, maybe we'll meet up again. I'm sure, nameless Hunter 3. This is the memory center where hunters record their battles. You want to save? Yeah, I'll save. Hopefully I have enough space. Cool idea. That's it, we're done saving. Are you gonna keep on playing? Good luck and have a wonderful day full of leveling up. No offense, but it kinda looks like you'll need it. Wow, fuck you. Welcome to the hunter office. How can we help you today? Damn. Info wanders about. Outlaw info. Trash heap. Oh, it's me. Why am I wanted? What the fuck did I do? Good luck, Mr. Newbie. No friends, eh, Sonny? You gotta get out there and live life. You can't live it alone. Find some friends you can trust, okay? I come along, but my bad back, you know? Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, that's not sarcastic. Nutty absolutely loves Rune Factory, which is basically, uh, adventure games with a side of farming. Oh shit, big metal in the trash can. Let's go. Free money. Hey, you got any armor to scrap? No. I don't got shit. I think I got like three hundred dollars. So I gotta drive through here. I'm too cocky to save. The song, this song kind of reminds me of like something I hear in like Grandia. Stick on armor. I'll get a hand capsule. No, I wanted to win the game. I'll deal with that later. It's kind of jarring how, uh, Sometimes it loads fast enough to like not cut the music and then sometimes it doesn't. I'm the metal collector. As you might guess, I have collect big metals. Now the thing can be, the things can be found lying around in boxes or chests. Basically they're all over the place. 
If you find any medals, please bring them by and collect them, you know? Um, something smells an awful lot, like big medals. So how about it? If you aren't using them, can you give them to me? Here you go. Yeah, now I have one. If you come across any more, please let me have them. Okay. Weirdo. What the fuck? Shit, shoes. I'm just butt ass naked right now. What's going on? Better than going barefoot. <laughs> You're not wrong. Actually, you know what? I think I'd rather go barefoot than wear sandals. MC looks like a goblin. MC is a goblin. Warp uh, zone. Hey, I've been wondering for the longest time, what is this place? It's a secret base. No way, you're lying. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Fuck, I'm on fire. <sighs> Haha. Uh -huh. That joke wrote itself. My brand is making jokes about pants at all opportunities. Yeah, that bed is fucking huge. Oh. I understand now. Ball memo? Let me see what that is. Oh shit, it's Iron Tiger. They call me Doc Solomon. I know it might not look like it, but I used to be a hunter like you. Now I research monsters. I used to be well known for my monster slaying abilities. Retirement isn't all it's cracked up to be, so I decided that maybe I'd catalog monsters and their various special powers and such. But my strength isn't what it used to be. Why, I doubt I could even bench more than 440 pounds nowadays. So since I can't record monster data myself, I was hoping you could. I mean, you're a hunter, right? So how about it? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. You, you do have a SATCOM, correct? SATCOM my balls. When you encounter monsters, their data is recorded automatically, so I just need you to show me your satcom from time to time. I sure wish we had gadgets like that when I was a hunter. Just find as many monsters as possible for me, okay? Since you agreed to help, I'd like to give you something. It's on the shelf to the right of the sink, see it? It helped me out a lot back in my hunting days. Good luck. Shit, Solomon's love. No Solomon's love, no Solomon's love. It's too heavy to wear. Can I put it on my I hope I can put it on my my tank. Can I just punch people? Why don't they give me one glove? Why not give me the set? What an asshole. Oh shit, gun. Welcome, this is the place to buy yourself some equipment.
cooking now. I'll do a safety save before I go get into the first fight of the game. You never know, it might be one of those games where it's just like pure evil. You get wa washed by the first uh first actual encounter. Oh, this is cool enough to do uh start you at level one. One of my pet peeves with uh games like RPGs is when they just start you at level like five or something. Like what's the point? Not even marked. Oh, nice. Big metal spotted. I, Igor, am Dr. Mortem's assistant. I find fresh samples. Fresh samples of what, sir? Hey, 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 Welcome to my laboratory. I, Dr. Mortimer, am a leading researcher in the field of revival that is bringing back the dead. It's becoming too peaceful back home, so it's hard to collect samples. And so, after traveling around the world, I decided this town is the perfect place to set up a new laboratory. I research during the day and rob graves at night. <laughs> You're a hunter, right? If you come across any dead bodies, or become one yourself, even better, by all means, stop by. I assume that's normally a fast of one level difference to use in stat calculations like in games where enemies like three levels higher and you can't even hit them. I mean, yeah, but then that's that, that's bad design. I hate that shit. Igor am Dr. Mortem's assistant. My job to find fresh samples to help doctors research. I uh, don't the only excuse is like when the characters have some kind of power already. I guess level one's kind of associated with like literally who. It's an experimental machine that still isn't finished. Cool. Several types of posts and notebooks are spread around. Nice. Various machine parts are scattered around the area. Where's the big metals? My big metal sensor was going crazy there. Bro, has this got fucking, uh... Why isn't it allowed to be sold to a bartender? Can't really read them, bro. I can't really read. Period. Yeah. Well, hentai is art, so yeah, it's cheaper if you don't if you get it untranslated. I mean, what's the problem? I give you three big medals and you don't give me shit. Wow, what a guy. Can't wait for it to be like, you need like a hundred to get anything. There's just no like incremental reward. Wait. 
I received word from your mother that you've decided to become a hunter. Good for you, son. Best of luck. How nice. Thanks, Dad. Yo, boy is zooming. Alright, let's go to Junk Mountain. Ow. I'm gonna ignore a fucking Lieutenant Surge on the ground over there. Dude, you're pretty late today. I've already sw I've already found some nice swag. There's not much left, so you don't really have to look around. Let me know what you find. I'm willing to trade for some good junk. Morning. Don't you hate when your hands get all slimy from hunting for junk? Your cakes get all mucked up, too. I planted a small plant on the side of the mountain last week. There's a spring close, close by, so I don't have to go too far to water it. It's a super nice area, except for all the black smoke from the fires. <laughs> Sometimes crows even fall out of the sky there. Mmm, Kentucky Fried Crow. Thanks. Uh, they got Kentucky in this game? That's crazy. Three junk zombies attacked me. That's a little too harsh, don't you think? Don't bother me, I'm trying to plan my revenge. Poop from poop? What are you doing here in Junk Mountain? Nice. Junk. Uh oh. Shit. Knife on a unicycle. Stab him. Actually destroyed. You tell me this song was from Bejeweled, and I'd believe you. Slug my balls. Syrup cells. I like these item names. I'm really curious what they actually do. I'm assuming that's probably like SP or something. But whenever I have SP, I'm not just running around on foot like a gremlin. Oh nice, I can zoom out. $69. Very good. You stepped on the nail. Ouch! Now you have tetanus. You're dead. Game over. Breaking in the junk. I'm not gonna get stabbed. The info for it just had a weakest enemy. <laughs> Here I was thinking that 
knife on a unicycle is uh gonna be the final boss. Hello Nox, welcome. Welcome to this. This is definitely not a game I picked off the shelf five minutes before my stream started. It's a pretty big broken bottle there. I did think of, I said I would have something a bit more substantial. That doesn't necessarily imply that I would think about it. But no, I actually... Uh, I did think about it, but I couldn't decide, so I just decided arbitrarily. Damn, I'm just dying over here. Stab in the foot. Yeah, no, work ran long again today, so I didn't really have the mental capacity to do what I need to do after work and think about it. Been busy and shit. Ouch. What the fuck? Ow, actual. Uh, it's all right because I I'm getting Friday off and Monday off, so I'll have some uh, time to uh, mentally recoup. Huh? Oh wow! I thought I was the only one who made it this far. Well, if I were you, I'd turn around right now. Seriously. Trash heaps over there. You see? You've heard of it, right? I thought I'd make some extra cash by killing it, but there's no way I can do that all by myself. Just lose my job, so I stop being so busy thought about it. Now if I could just find a vehicle, it'd be a different story. I could equip it with the, ca the cannon I found back there ways away. Well, I don't have a vehicle, do I? So it doesn't look like I'll be killing Trash Heap anytime soon. Time to go fight Trash Heap. I don't know, if I was ever in a position where I was making enough with streaming to... Even remotely entertain it as a full time proposition, I think I would just try it. But, like, that that's so far off. I'd be in, like, the top 0.1% on Twitch. Cool level up jingle. I like that. Oh hey, a tank. Look at this heap. It's completely busted. Oh. Sad. The times in this game are pretty good. It could be better if I was loading them over network, but I don't feel like losing progress because the game just stopped working. Hell yeah, got my target down. I don't get jump scared by it. trash heap. Are we just got the blicky like that? I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead. Oh, 
No, you can't just shoot me. I need him to miss though. Or not. That's fine, it's 38. Net gain of 12. Yeah, I really got lucky with those misses, huh? Is not that same encounter, please. That's fine. Ow. So was this eccentric game? That's exactly that. It's an eccentric game. Um, it's Metal Saga for the PS2. Um. It's definitely a game that where it's goofiness on its sleeve. For better or worse, I don't know. Because I've had this game for a while. Um, like, I remember watching a review of it on X-Play, and I'm like, this shit seems awesome, but, like, back when, uh, back when I didn't have money to buy stuff. Um, oh, yeah. At this, uh, sorry, no, I said, I mean, I haven't moved my stream later for that, um, but I wasn't sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, at the start of the game, they ask you if you want to be a hunter or a mechanic, and you can just choose uh, becoming a mechanic, and it just says you lived like a really boring life and died. I I was going to for the bit, and then I was like, eh, I'm good. But I will call it a break right now, so I gotta pee before I get into this rad vehicle. I'll be right back.
And we're back. Uh, yeah, that's the buggy. You got buggy. You can use the drive command to ride or tow vehicles. Yeah. I got the car is the size of me and also not much faster. Oh, that's a little bit of overkill, but I like it. I fuck with it. Also, yeah, I hope that uh, no one calls you in on their day off or on your day off. Unless you want the money, then I hope they do, but... This encounter is kind of, uh, butt cheeks. Is somehow stronger than everything here. Saw the experience? Is that like Saw the movie? I thought it was going to be like that one really brutal, uh, uh, which we call it haunted house, I guess is the term. But it was like just actually some guy that would just like brutalize people, but you had to like sign 47 waivers. Damn. Only said, nah, fuck this. back to the other guy so he can put his cannon on it for me. Let me keep looking at it now. Looks more run down each time you look at it. Staring at trash is kind of a stupid way, way to waste time. Yeah, I know. I spent a lot of time looking in the mirror. They can use it to build the fort. No, wait. It's just junk. There's nothing hidden there, so you might as well stop looking. Look at this heap. It's completely busted. Oh. Damn. I was really hoping it would let me, uh, get something out of it. Didn't it fucking hit the gritty on me like that? On me. No. 
Uh, sentient gas tank, yeah. Your worst fear manifested. Mine too. I hate gas cans. They scare the shit out of me. Those guys, everyone's like, oh yeah, if you if you mess up filling up a gas can, it'll spark and just blow up. And I'm like, wow, I don't want to do that. Oh, when you're driving home, you have to make sure it's flat on the ground or else it'll uh, explode. Random battle driving vehicle. Yeah, that's kind of a appeal to the The different tanks and shit. A lot. I think a majority of the battles are done like this, though. Like in a vehicle. Huh? Oh wow! I thought I was the only one. Only one that made it this far. Well, if I were you, would stop right now. Yep. There was okay. I thought he had the cannon. Thought he had the Nick cannon. That's probably where Trash Heap actually is. how this pop filter is actually supposed to work. Not today, but maybe one day. My brother, where's the cannon? What am I supposed to kill trash heap with? Just my sub weapon? I was get spewed on by Slugma Balls. Keep in the bathroom mirror, it looks nice, and you see a reflection in a window or mirror, natural light, and look like roadkill. No, not really, because I don't do upkeep in the bathroom mirror. Ironically enough, every mirror in my house is too small for me, too short. So I really only look at myself when I want to, which helps a lot. Because it saves me time to not look at myself. Yeah, I don't know, whoever owned this house before us, like, was, was a reasonable height, I guess. And I'm just too tall. Yeah, like what benefit do I get from looking at myself? I look at myself all the time in the stream preview and it's awful. Nice, more junk. Damn. 
Oh, that's not like a permanent discard. That would suck. I got a cannon now. That's tight. Talk to your friend who watched the PlayStation thing and said it was shitty. Also, the additional footage with FF16 basically told the entire story. I mean, yeah, I watched it. Um, so I was doing some stuff at work that allowed me to. Um, and it was not good. I, I don't know if I'm just too old for like video games now or if I like. I hit 30 and just became a fucking boomer automatically, but like, it feels like all they ever showed that shit is like, remakes, which are cool, and then like, sequels to first parties, and it's like, okay, cool. What the fuck? Uh... Damn. They don't make anything anymore. You're not wrong. Um... But yeah, like, Spider-Man. I just finished playing the first Spider-Man, right? I was like, that was a fun game. It was a little bit repetitive, but it was still fun through throughout. I just wish I had a little bit more, uh, like, things to do. Like, ways to fight and stuff. But then I watched the, uh, the 10 minutes of gameplay footage they showed today, and I'm like, wow. That looks like the same as that game. Um, like, the combat looks the same. UI looks a little bit different, that's it. And I'm like, wow, that's ass. And then they're like, they're like, oh, let's get rid of web swinging. Let's give you a wing suit so you can fly around. It's like, I get it, so you can go faster, but like, I play the game because web swing fun. Why would I want not web swing? So it's like, in, in, immediately cynical of like everything. It's like, oh boy, a new bungee game. Oh boy, they ruined it by making, making marathon live service. Oh wow, more FF16 info for the game that's coming out in a month that I already have pre-ordered? I don't care. Oh wow, look, not not in-game footage of Metal Gear Solid Delta, which is just Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake. Yippee. Maybe old games are better. You're not wrong. I... Also, the thing that kind of uh, pushed me over the, the edge earlier. Um, so Alan Wake 2, they're like, yeah, we're not making a physical copy of this. And their reason was it keeps prices down, which is valid to an extent. But also, we don't want to release a disc-based game that needs a download anyway. And it's like, bro, we are three years into the PlayStation 5's life cycle. We're already like at 120 gigs per per game like no that's unreal big game pass here but you better be really sure you want to fight that thing by my estimation you'd have to be at least level three to even survive any lower than that you're just asking for trouble i value my life though so i'm gonna head back see you i hope now i'm gonna die um but yeah it's the thing for me is like this weird push to make everything digital because oh it's gonna help us earn money because I don't know why I, I don't know how people would want digital games it doesn't like make sense to me I get this storage capabilities and stuff like that all those arguments but at the end of the day you're paying like 60 bucks plus a season pass for a license to a game that they can revoke at any time it's a glorified renting you don't own anything It's like running an apartment and be like, yeah, I'm a homeowner. Like, no, you're paying for space in someone else's owned land. So I'm just, I, like, I'm gonna tap out at that point once games like become fully digital. Oh, only 20, perfect. Did no damage. 
It's even worse with Game Pass. Okay, but Game Pass at least like on its nose, it's like on the nose about like you don't own anything. Game Pass to me it tickles the same part of my brain as when I used to like rent games back in the day. Like you go there, you download the game you want, you play it, it goes away at some point. Oh well. Or you can spend sixty bucks, the price of four four ish months of Game Pass. Um, on one game. Then you need to spend an additional 30 on the paid DLC because they, of course, will keep up with supporting the game long term. Then, it, like, at the end of it, it's just like... I don't know. I, I will... I'd rather pay 120 bucks a year for PlayStation Plus Extra, or Premium, and get all the stuff that comes with it than pay... Fucking sixty dollars for digital only Alan Sleep 2. And then have to pay for DLC if I want the story anyway. Been enjoying the meltdown about Blizzard introducing WoW tokens and WoW Classic. Yeah, I heard about that. Cause they just like I, I saw that the subreddit like disabled the rule about like playing on private servers and shit. Uh, the meltdown is WoW tokens are essentially just real money trade or real money to cash or to gold in WoW Classic, which is supposed to be like the purism, purist experience rather. Yeah, you buy tokens with real world money and then convert it to gold in the game, if I'm understanding. No, no, it's just every like. Blizzard saw how much like the gold farms were making and we're like we can we can just do that why do we let bots make money off of our game when we can make money off of our game $15 like that concept is crazy to me let me pay for a month of gameplay to get gold no. No. Absolutely the fuck not. Miss me with that by a country mile. But yeah, that's like... I'm glad that now private servers will become more... Uh, like obvious again because I think private servers are tight as a concept we got to experience Boldar again because of TV being said we never go back yeah Like, the worst part about it, ultimately, is you know people are going to wail on it now. Private servers is a concept are cool, but a lot of them turn into cash grabs or descend into tyrannical favoritism. But that's the beauty of a, a well-managed private server. Uh, ecosystem is that anyone can make one like it's not gonna be the perfect experience because like there's always some like goofy fucking shit you have to do with it speaking from experience um like i know for zero online when i was going through that stuff uh like you have to run your own events and like you have to program all that stuff yourself but like if you get a good starter, like just actually vanilla and all this stuff's automated because it should be, but like you can just get the purest experience of the game and that's super cool. And if someone wants to turn into a cash grab, fuck it, we'll go to another one. 
It also doesn't really, like, I don't know for other games, but, like, I know for Zero Online it didn't take that much, like, uh, resource. It wasn't resource intensive. That's also a game from, like, 2006, so. But I agree that if it's, like, a private server where, uh, whatchamacallit, um, like, only some people have reverse engineered the files and they don't release them publicly, then I can suck my balls, honestly. And there's a game like their money or their time. I mean, we're talking about a, a style of game where the literal resource you're spending at all times is your time. Like, the, the whole thing about an MMO is you're spending time no matter what. You might lose that time, but you're going to lose that time eventually anyway. That's that's the part that never really settled with me with live service games. Like, they could take all the servers down one day, and there's not shit you can do about it. Sweet, I'll trade you this for the junk. Ooh, a drill blade. I gave you enough junk to build two of those. Red. Yeah, maybe one day when I uh, stop being a piece of shit, I'll open like a community server for some old ass MMOs or something. It's been very, very uh, flat brain mode around here recently. Like my day at work yesterday was just straight up like all day was meetings and talking, and I was like, God. And I got yelled at today for not doing the training that I was supposed to do. Apparently, that was very cool.
Fish book about seventy percent through another one. But watch a couple movies and probably some Spanish work. And that's a lot of stuff. At least visiting your mom in the care center. Yeah, I know that feeling. I guess I should explain how to use the garage. Most times you come across will have a garage. Some are repair shops where you can face the damage to your vehicle. Or there may be a service station where armor tiles and shells can be replenished. There are also mod shops to upgrade chassis and other parts. The garage is an important facility for hunters to use. So look for one whenever you enter a new town. Our garage is a, something called a parking lot. You can park vehicles there. It should be pretty obvious. If you park here instead of outside, you won't end up with bird poo and mushrooms all over your vehicles. Your father says you can make it use it. You can use it freely, so make good use of it. I'll send an e message repeating everything I just told you. In case you're forgetting any of it, good luck. It is good to see you. you should stop by more often. Make sure you visit Emily too. She's always worried about you. I was gone for 20 minutes. Ain't that some shit? Let's fucking go. Nice. Free shit. Gamble. You will win. Get it twisted. I want to build the draw the drill blade. In my game, I'm, I'm playing on. Oh, but the weight goes up. Let me, get, let me get one of those. Oh, okay. You know what they say, a clean vehicle is a happy vehicle. Are you tanks are you tanks gunning for some scrubbing? Yes, sir. What are you crazy? There's a fungus among us. He he said it, he said the amogus. Hog. I'm wondering if bird poo is actually going to be like a concern. Also, yeah, I like how the tank drives at about the speed of a which we call it um, main character runs. Like it's very fast, but also not. All right, how do I how do I make things? I have the, dry, the drill claw memo. I have the stuff. An assembly shop. Cool. Where the fuck's an assembly shop? Right, 
lesson and This is a dealership, isn't it? Black market. This is an equipment shop. I should buy a gun, but I can wait on that. Are you going to look for more junk today? Not today, man. Oh, that's too bad, but I guess it's safer to, to not to go there every day. Yeah, I'm planning to salvage that old tank in the back, part by part. Maybe you can help me the next time you're there. No. Serious junk mountain. If I were an assembly shop, where would I be and why is it uh, the place I would never think of it? That's mechanic. Something mod shop. Let's confer with the manual. <sighs> wow, that smells like old. I think there's an uh, assembly shop in this town. Very upsetting. Eh? What's up, kid? Huh? Hmm. I see you. Yep, I get it now. What? You're a hunter, right? Or you just became one, right? Damn. Jack looks like an RPG maker character that's fucked up. Huh? What is it? Why the wandering loner look? Huh? I didn't think I was glaring. You must have imagined it. Whatever. The name's Scarlet, but most people call me the Red Fox. I'm a hunter like you. Well, not like you, but yeah. Oh, I remember that innocent look people have when they start out. Newbies are so cute. I do see the fire in your eyes, though. You'll be pretty strong one day. Hee <laughs> hee. So I hear you're a hunter now, kid. Guess you were pretty serious, huh? I know Eddie's probably thrilled, but your mom, not so much. I'm not sure whose side I'm on there. The world's a tough place. But I guess you've already decided, so not much can be done. I'm proud of you, kid. Oh, and why don't you go see Rachel, huh? Video game called Crossfire? I would love to play. I love video games in my video game. Got it. 
Him fucking sucks. Too broke to play. Folk is northeast of here, and there's kind of a trick to get there. Leave this town and head northwest once you're around the mountains. Start heading northeast, you'll see a bridge. Cross it and go east. Before you know it, you'll be in a new folk. Great! Hey, nice to see you. How's it going? Not good. I've been getting a lot of flat tires lately, and it's so expensive to get them fixed. I kind of feel bad about something. What, this? No, you really shouldn't steal, steal water from here to sell it for cash. Why? Do you need cash to buy booze? Man, you're such a punk. Shouldn't a hunter like you be making enough money to buy booze? No. That doesn't look like a cold one after a hard day of work. What? I have a job. You just don't see me there. <laughs> hey kid, I can show you the ropes of being a hunter if you want. Literally, who asked? Uh, nah, I'm good. You don't have to act tough around me, champ. It's not like I'm going to be your groupie or anything. I'll just send some tips to your satcom a little later, okay? Since you're apparently in such a hurry, I'll let you get going. Yeah, I'm in a fucking hurry, scarlet fucking red fox. Come on. Like red flops, you're not wrong. Steal as much as I can. You know what they said, streamers uh, don't make a lot of money consistently, so I gotta, gotta get by with a little help from uh, the unwitting patrons. Oh, Pants, are you really a hunter now? Yes. What the fuck was that other option? What you talking about, Rachel? Do they make these scenes any smaller? No. I think I'm zoomed out. But what What are you thinking? Being a hunter is dangerous. Why would you want to do that? If something happened to you, I'd... Shit myself. Forget about me. If something happens to you, Nina and Emily would be heartbroken. Did you even consider their feelings? No. Just promise me you'll be careful, okay? Whenever you're in town, you have to come visit your family. And hunters go to the bars, right? Then you have to come. Then you have to talk to my dad, okay? J just don't worry about me. I'm too busy to talk to you. Uh, um, what? I thought you were done here. Just go do whatever it is that you hunters do. Go. You can now send get send gifts to Rachel. I don't give a shit, dude. Yeah, I'm just zoomed out. I'm a power gamer. I gotta be zoomed out so I can see as much as I can. No, I didn't want to go in there. I wanted to fucking run around and mash X on things. You know, to send Rachel junk. Owned idiot. But my car isn't covered in dog or bird shit. Now loading. Wahoo. Alright, 
Gotta go around the mountains and then go east or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Oh shit, giant fucking sunflower. Enemy design in this game is actually crazy. I never fucking collected my money. What am I doing? I killed the trash heap and the gas tank, and I didn't get my money for it. I'm fumbling the bag, as the kids say. for killing spider tank. I am not Mr. Rookie. I'm Mr. Dookie. Or if there's like a shortcut to get in and out of vehicle, it is. There's tell one. Good to know. I don't know if I could have tolerated uh, going into that menu every single time I had to get in or out. Very pog. I'll check my stupid fucking satcom. Dinner's on you next time. Thanks, Dad. I just earn money by defeating monsters in general. Blah, blah, blah. Scarlet. Oh, the song was just getting hype. Oh no. Not pistol on a unicycle. Anyway. Now we will wait 18 years to get a turn. Cool. Good encounter. I th Maybe not. I, I was going to say, I think the game actually gives you a... Uh, XP when they flee, but uh, it does not. Trader Camp, Trader Joe's. Oh, are you looking for take parts by any chance? Yes. Thunder Blaster? Uh.
I had to sack 25 HP for that. Also, in case anyone was curious, this game advertises a... Uh, it's a full-scale RPG that offers unprecedented freedom. Travel across a war-torn world with over 800 events and a quest with over 40 hours of gameplay. We'll be here for a minute. The fuck? No. Get me back in. I, uh, I don't want to be on foot. I'll die. More junk. Yo, fog of war, nice. Let's go faster, man. Oops. Damn, I didn't mean to that. I keep thinking that the... The menu acts like Digimon where like, you have to hold the button. It doesn't. slug. Imagine being a slug, like, seeing a slug that large. That'd be kind of horrifying. I also really wonder how far the freedom of this game stretches. Like, can I just, like, completely pull up to somewhere where I'm not supposed to be? Are we doing a garden this year? Yeah. Uh, Nadia's been the one mostly in charge of that. I just help here and there. We have some cucumbers. Um, they're doing pretty all right. She actually, we had like the jankiest like grow setup for the plants, for actual plants, not for weed. Um, I'm not trying to get myself arrested. Um, but we had a cooler and an LED lamp that we just had sitting around. Um, and we just put that and like put all the plants in there. And it did a, it did a good job. I was surprised. I figured it wouldn't do anything. I am looking to assemble a custom weapon, brother. We are dealing with those, unfortunately. Turns out that uh, grass always has weeds in it, and it fucking sucks. I'm tired of them. What is rent a tank? Is this anime twisted battle? No, this is a uh, car battler Joe for the PS2.
I vibe with it though. Yeah, I don't care about that. Got nothing I like how they have Sid from Final Fantasy IV though. That's rad. games where uh if you sell the starting stuff you get super shit on that would be rough damn no mod shop in this town boo oh pants it's been a while since i last saw you how have you been i heard from nina that you became a hunter congratulations on fulfilling your childhood dream if you're looking for a mechanic consider my son or daughter they still need more training but they can repair most vehicles i'd go with you myself but i'm too old to be on the road Besides, I can't skip and leave this garage behind. I guess I'll just, I'm just setting my ways. Ha ha ha. Well, I'm sure I'm just boring you. Anyway, th those kids are around here somewhere. Why don't you try talking to them? I'll hit them with my car. Pow! Drive my car up the stairs. Boo. Yo, pants, it's been a while. Did you really become a hunter? Yes. Hey, don't tell me you forgot who I am. Come on, you, you remember my name, don't you? Kyria. Yeah, I'll stick with that name. I don't mind it. Good, so you do remember. I bet you'll want me as your mechanic, right? Uh, yeah. So yeah, I knew you'd say that. I can finally kiss this boring life goodbye. Here you joined your party. Nice. I like how this room is just nothing and a fucking... Oh, a metal bat. Nice. Only level 4. Cringe. Face and crash landing. Brings out an airborne machine enemy. Nice flying killer. My favorite trope. My favorite archetype. A lightning rod? Damn. Uh, 
Hell yeah, big metal in the trash. Ah, pants, smart thinking, putting my son to work. There's one thing he's good at, it's facing machines. Damn, she built like a fucking brick house. Four foot ten. Two hundred fifty. Powerful. Pure muscle, by the way. Uh, I guess that's why I rent a tank exists. Oh, welcome. Ah, Pants, I haven't seen you in a while. Misha. Yeah, that's generic enough. Wow, you became a hunter? That's really cool. My dad's been training me to be, be a mechanic. So, what brings you here? I have a proposition for me? Sounds like fun. I'll join you. Hey, wait a minute. Are you saying you don't need me anymore? Haha, <laughs> see you later, Kyria. Uh oh. You have home furnishing this to me, show? What the f what? I want Kyria. It was fun while it lasted, walking up the stairs. I can't believe that they make you make a choice, that's fucked up. I don't- I hate making choices about who's in my party, I just want everyone. Alright, so no mod shop. Alright, Kyria, hope you can keep up. I guess I'll go rent him a tank or something. Renting a vehicle requires no money up front, 20% of your battle earnings will automatically be deducted from as a rental fee. I'm gonna have to return. That's the reason for that you have installing a vehicle be destroyed upon its return. Paying a rep for a vehicle prohibited. Damn, I gotta I gotta get him a an actual tank and quick. 20% of my battle earnings, dude? That's a fucking rip. I'll save, sure. Since I started my stream so much later, by so much later, I mean an hour. Um, oops. I fucked up. It's throwing me off. I'm like, man, I've been... Like, damn. You're already passed out? Yeah. I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, it's 10. I'm half hour over shit, and I'm like, wait. I'm not. Yeah, how did I fully expect you to fall asleep before uh, I end my stream? So rip. Rip bozo. You know Arthur Belder? He got rich working as a hunter, built a town, and named it after himself. Just north of here. I hear he's retired now, living La Vida Loca. Lucky bastard. About to have a good one. All right, take it easy, dude. Sleep tight. Let the bed bugs bite. Damn it.
Why didn't even give me an option to attack everything? Damn, I can't believe I'm broke now. Having to pay expenses. I never healed. But I wasn't even in the tank. Why am I still paying? Unreal. I vastly prefer the overworld music out of the tank than in the tank. What the fuck? Fucking the evil Volkswagen Beetle, dude. High beams on me. No, quit spamming tackle. Right. Yeah, I'm fucking broke as fuck now. Oops.
was even worth it. So I used Quick Fix, which I realized. Damn, it just sends a fucking... That's fucked up, man. Come back to the fucking junkyard and fuck this shit. Man, that's gotta beat the fuck up and um eight hundred dollars in the fucking turlet. I didn't think it would let me overdraw. Sale on now. How did I lose money? The skills you use in battle cost money. It's all right, we're immediately out of the hole. We're good. Maybe pour after I fucking revive, uh, Kyria. Um, that guy was up the hill. It's like actually dead dead. That's fucked up. Wow, it actually worked. Do you have any other bodies? Now's the time. Soundtrack's giving you genre whiplash. Yeah, I love it. Super tight. Is the tank not damaged? Oh, it says I'm telling you, probably. And yeah, no, this game is just chaotic neutral, the game. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't need to. I don't need that. The pleasure to see you again, ma'am. Nicola has been saying you abandoned them to go waste your life. Uh, well, my dad and sister are doing just fine. Why should I stay at home? There's nothing for me to do there. Well, I'm sure that pants can use your help. Being a hunter takes skill that you don't get working in a garage. And this is a good experience for both of you. We won't let you down. Good luck. I need repairs, Mom. Oh. Bozo. Do I just do I just be super greedy? I think I'm gonna be super greedy and not uh repair anything. Oh yeah, my my tanks are fine. I have 200 health on both of them. It's chill. Oh, I can only go up 
so high on the attack. Shame. Finish your book club book this morning. Which one was it? Placed in the 1960s, an official town in southwest Utah it built a fake town set to attract Hollywood to film westerns. That's oddly specific. <laughs> but I like the concept. Gotten ammo. I like how they just immediately give you quick travel. That's rad. I do really like that. I'll be right back. Go to the bathroom again.
I'm back. I sit down, the first thing I read is how they milk a bull, brother. Best friend turns, tells her ex-boyfriend, who's the son of the chief cop, about the Native American who was framed for an automobile accident and later sent to life in prison for killing a man in self-defense who escaped a chain gang has been staying at the MC South because she has assaulted by two guys and didn't want the paper shield by violated morality cause when she finally broke into Hollywood. Wow. That's a lot of information. That means a lot of not much to me. Bro, why are the bees just fucking up my tank? What's going on here? I guess not my tank. I can just go return and get the other one out. Good work, Kyria. You did it. This desert is a monstrosity. Abandoned buildings. Perfect. Beep beep, coming through. Growing up, did anyone ever have a drive through convenience store? That shit was tight, for no reason. It was cool as fuck, I don't know why. Is that a fucking... Is that a monkey on a pogo stick? have gun and the monkeys have pogo sticks well I don't know what your parents told you but my parents told me a little story about the bird or the bees and the monkeys on the pogo sticks and how they use their pogo sticks to make babies Utah seems like a good place to film a uh, western. I should only make really like poor, uh, like poor budgeted uh, western movies there and call them midwesterns. That's kind of crazy.
Yeah, you have to remember, Nox. I'm, I'm unable to read. Yuck, it's bird poo. Yeah, I'm still laughing at poop from poop, so... Any literary... Uh... Anything literary will be lost on me. The only other thing I'm reading right now is Demon Slayer. Yeah, Nutty's the one that reads. Out of the two of us. If my books don't got pictures in them, then I ain't reading. I still haven't healed, have I? Oh, I know, but I'm, I'm making it mean that it's funny to me. My favorite bit is the part where I can't read, but then read everything out loud. Which is it? Am I just gaslighting? It's also partially the reason why I'd never do a book club, because I feel like every time I read actual books, I like miss something critical that other people don't. And then I feel dumb. And I'm like, well. But for some reason with uh, video games, that doesn't happen to me. Probably just have to interact with it more. My brain doesn't just shut off the pages at a time. Yeah, I got enough skills though. I don't need more of them. Book sounds saucy enough for the book club ladies to like really get into it. Oh, shit, sorry. I always feel bad when I hit my mic like that. I don't know how loud it comes through, but. No, my tank. My fucking pancakes. Okay, why is my tank not destroyed? Is this gonna do damage to my HP now? I don't know how this game works. Ah, oh, perfect. A large 75 millimeter cannon. Is it really 2.02, man? Ugh, fuck. A pain in asshole. Oh, I already have a large 75 millimeter. I just toss this. Now I need to can I move this. Here's her. Damn, you ever sneeze so hard it throws your fucking camera out of focus? That's crazy.
Honestly, it feels like I phased out of reality with that sneeze. You're not wrong. Can hardly hear it. Well, that's good. what is going to happen eventually in my head. Like, is it going to blow up my tank? Like, I, I just, I don't follow what the threat is now that I have zero SP. I check the manual. Let's see, we're gonna jump to 19 vehicles. Shield points and armor tiles. Armor tiles are metal plates that can be affixed to the surface of the vehicle, creating a protective shield. While characters have HP, vehicles have SP. One armor tile is one SP. Armor tiles absorb damage from enemy attacks to protect the vehicle's parts. As so armor tiles sustain the damage, they decrease the number. SD, as long as it doesn't reach zero, the chassis and other parts will not sustain any damage from an ordinary attack. One of those parts does become severely damaged, it could have a serious impact on your ability to fight. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, manuals for 2000, like 2000s JRPGs went kind of fucking insane if we're talking, if, like, if we're being honest. Really? Nothing? Nothing even in the chair. I can't sniff the chair for the post-apocalyptic part. Unreal. Can I buy some medicine from this uh busted out grenades? Cool. Thunder grenade. Pog. No chair sniffing. Don't come out to live my life, man. That's good, because now I can actually finally heal main character soon. I guess maybe I really want to play Evolution for the Dreamcast. Maybe I'll do that next. Who knows? I am the only way to do next. Let nobody predict your next move, not even yourself, man. Yeah, your grenade with your free meds. Ooh, a flight jacket. And a pot lid. Oh, I never. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was saying. I forgot. Maybe, maybe eating before streaming isn't the play. Because I swear my brain is just like cooked right now. This cooked already. How dare you? You're not wrong, but how dare you? No, you can't take my picture. You'll steal my soul. Not really in 
in danger right now. Damn it. I wanted to read that. Whether it's a little bit is. Oh, he already has leather gloves. I don't know. Pretty fun grenade. Nice. Tough luck. The door is locked. Tougher luck. You're under attack. Did I only hit one? Just to find out. I'm really glad that fighting encounters on foot is not like intrinsically detrimental. Yo, gun? You have bestowed upon me the blicky. No, not the double first attack, man. Could do so much damage. Ow. I hit him with a heart gun. I thought it missed too, and I was like, God damn it. No. Look how much money I have now. Love that for me. Mr. Money Bags over here. Yeah, so what? Yeah, I'm rich. What's the problem? Damn. Big ass parking lot. Yeah, you can keep the rich, eat my ass. I don't know. If I were rich, I would uh, simply give all my money to animal sanctuaries and be tight. Ow. 
After five margaritas. Honestly, what an icon, that woman. I didn't send it to Nubby, so feel free to. Oh, nice. I got lost to Odyssey leveling, and I call it that because uh, it's the only game I know that does the same thing, but the whole, like, if you're over leveled for an area, I guess scaling just scales the experience down. There's so many fucking buildings there exploring shit. Oh, there's objects are rusted through. No way. Bags are scattered across the floors. How could they? Bro, you know that shit's bad for the environment? What the fuck? Medium ore? Mid ore? Yeah, no, every once in a while I just like, I think everyone does, but I also do, um, just daydream about like, what if I woke up tomorrow and I was just rich? That'd be so tight. Straight up, the first thing I would do, once I confirm the money existed and I could leverage it, uh, immediately quitting on the spot. Now I made some bullshit excuse, like, oh, I'm gonna be a full-time streamer. And I would start streaming full-time, I'd be like, you know, I'm willing, to, I'm willing to gamble a little bit, you know? And everybody would be like, oh, hell yeah. But little do they know, there's no risk. I'd be rich as fuck. That of course will never happen, but... Me and my 401k will mature at a rate faster than 2% per year, who knows. fight with our dehumidifier this past weekend um so oh shit actual this is going um so we bought a dehumidifier a few years back for the basement because i just need one i left this out for more um it's like it's moist you need one for the basement it's whatever um so, after, a, I think, two years of basically running constantly, um, it broke down. We returned it to Costco because of their very nice uh, policy, but also it's still in warranty, and they're like, take it back to Costco. I'm like, okay, sure. Um, so we buy another one, whatever the... Is it switch? Hell yeah, hit it. Uh-oh. Um, so we take it back to Costco, get a new one, it's the, the fanciest model or whatever, not like fanciest, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and we, we take it home and I'm like, well, it'll probably be the same thing as our other one, so no, no harm, no foul. Um, this one requires a fucking garden hose to be a gravity drain. Um, or to use the gravity drain functionality, which like if you've ever used a dehumidifier, your options are 
letting it drain into a bucket that you have to constantly empty out, which sucks. Um, or you attach a hose to it and it just drains naturally. So obviously you want to do that one. Um, so a year goes by, so we bought it in like late summer and we're like, whatever. Um, it's like the past week and it starts getting warm again. It starts getting moist in the basement. It's getting annoying. Um, so we start looking into it. And it turns out if you ever want to like buy a garden hose that's not 50 feet, it's really hard. Um, it's like, I was like, oh, we'll just get like some generic tubing and a fitting and we'll be fine. Um, the fittings cost as much as like a lead hose does anyway. So we go, we go and buy a hose for 10 bucks or something. So my other option is use the pump, which we're not going to use the fucking pump. Who's going to use the pump? That just has planned obsolescence written all over it. Um, and we go to put the hose on and the threads are so shit, you can't even thread the hose onto it. So like, now we have this dehumidifier in the basement that like, if you touch it or look at it the wrong way, the hose just falls off of it. And they're like, oh yeah, uh, all hoses in America are uh, uniform and there's only one attachment, so that's why we did it. And it's like, you motherfuckers. And it was just like this whole thing that didn't need to be a thing. Yeah. And I get ultra tilted because uh, I was like, I fucking hate. Oh shit, the mosquito. The skeeter. I should have changed the skeeter. What the fuck? Who are you? Hmm, I guess we weren't the first ones here. Nice to meet you. I'm Rosa Bell Dare. Who are you? So you're pants. I assume you're a hunter. I am too, though. Though you probably couldn't tell by looking at me. I became a hunter because tanks really get my motor running. I'd rather collect big tanks than waste them fighting waste time fighting monsters. That tank there is a mosquito, by the way. There's supposed to be a tank somewhere around here, but what shall we do, Miss Rosa? Well, I don't need that tank, really. It's not anything special. I guess he did find it first, so let's let him have it. Oh, sorry, you're still standing there. If I really wanted that tank, I'm sure you would have given it to me. But I'll give you give you a break this time, and we'll just say you owe me one. See you again soon. Thanks, Rosa, I guess. Uh... But yeah, long story short, I hate uh, the fact that people make things harder so they can save like two cents um, and also force their planned obsolescence shittiness down your throat. Because the thing comes with a tube for the pump. But like, I, just, I it just needs to drain. I need it to drain into a fucking hole, dude. That's it. Absolutely the goofiest shit. But that's just like, that's the part of adulthood they never tell you about. Like, everything's just fucking annoying. You're like, oh, I just need a hose. Let me go, let me go get one. Okay, we'll get in the car, go to the fucking, well, I guess in America. That's the big caveat, or the caveat and tour. Um... But you, it's like, oh, let's go to the hardware store, 20 minute, like 10 minute drive. Um, you go there, you get your thing, you go back. It may or may not fit. You don't know. Your other option is to fucking lug the whole thing there. It's just this huge song and dance, man. What, the giant sunflower? Hello, Colorado Mountain Man. Welcome. Mm. 
giant sunflower. Yeah, sounds about right. All right. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to repair everything because I'm just gonna drop this tank off. Return my rental because now I have a the actual one for Kyria. But before I do that, I have to transfer my stuff off of the tank. This will destroy it if I don't. Does not have an engine in it? Damn. I think I got an extra engine, didn't sell mine. It's gonna be like two dollars worth of stuff, so. I'm rich now, remember? Like, we're good here. I don't even have weapons on this thing, man. That sucks. That's fine. I can buy more though. Oh wait. No, I can't. This thing is so heavy. Why, oh, man? I can get that installed. I don't think I can I get away with that? Oh. I don't I don't follow. I must be doing math wrong. I'm too tired for this. <laughs> I guess I'll just pump that up and then uh be good. my ammo and stuff, my full board. Yeah, just give me the, the total. Cool, thank you. 
I'm just gonna keep using the buggy until I'm like forced not to. For no other reason than it sounds funny. Also, who needs a who needs a car wash when you can just leave your car out in the rain? Bears will say it's not real. How's business going? I'm rich. Again. Expensive booze for everyone everyone here. What? No way. Alright, fine, I won't. I won't buy a round because I feel like it's gonna cost me like four thousand or some goofy shit. It's also not what buying around means. Buying around means you get what you get and you deal with it. gonna be it for me tonight because it's almost 11 and uh I'm tired Somewhere. I'm looking for a raid target, so my fall is, title is uh, Hump Day, my favorite day in all caps. Powerful. Alright, um, I'm gonna send you all over to Pando. Just still doing Tales of Hysteria. We, we support the, the homies who uh, play very long games on stream because it's a very, uh, it's a it's a rough thing, really. Like you don't think about it. You're like, oh, you're just playing the fun game, but like trying to keep an audience engaged through like 17 parts of the same game over like four hours. Um, very tough, turns out. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for stopping by. Uh, if you're new here, feel free to follow, join the Discord, like, comment, and subscribe, uh, follow Twitter, whatever. Um, playing 15 hour show you 15 hour visual novels pog and you're not wrong um but yeah that'll be it for me i'll be back on friday with more of this um we'll just rock with it until we don't so i will see you then feel free to spam sounds on the outro bye now <laughs>